What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er bringing you on my journey into cryptocurrency. So today, everyone's kind of worried that the US regulators will talk about further clamping down on cryptocurrency. And fortunately, that wasn't the case. What they really talked about in the meeting that they had with the Senate was really just about ICOs overall. So not fun and that's not really regulation news that people got afraid of. It's not bad news compared to what we have seen the last several days leading up to the huge crash more or less from 9,000 down to 6,000 we were at yesterday. So I created something kind of funny but it's really what it is. It's, I created something called a crypto safety board just to it's pretty much like how factories, construction factories have it where you know they have gone a certain amount of days without injuries on the job. So now I have created something called crypto safety board where we have gone one day without FUD or government regulation news. So the best previous record was one day. So I mean, as of this recording, it's one day. It could still happen sometime tonight or whatever after this recording that some news comes out. But I'll just be updating it on a regular basis and just show you guys. My hope is that we will have no bad news, no FUD, no government regulation news for seven days. So once we hit that, then we know that the price should stabilize. That's my hope. We'll see what happens in the next week. So, I mean, as you can see right now, cryptocurrency has recovered somewhat, just like the United States stock market has recovered quite a bit from yesterday's crash. My expectation is still for it to go up and down as of right now. $75.99 for Bitcoin is pretty much what some other people have predicted it to be. I was predicting $8,000, I was wrong. So a lot of people predicted $7,500. So right now is where it's kind of holding at, it seems like. We don't know yet. It could fall more again tomorrow. As of right now, 7500 And I really just think that the market has fell enough that it's not going to fall anymore unless we get more bad news. So we'll see what happens. Alright, on to today's topic. So today I want to talk to you guys about Daedalus. So Daedalus is a wallet built for ADA or the currency that is for Cardano. Since I'm pretty much trying to avoid catching the falling dagger these days with cryptocurrency, I just want to move off whatever I have on exchanges onto my own wallets. I mean, I would prefer to have my ADA, my Cardano on something like this, but it's not happening yet. It's from what the screenshot looks like, it's really just beta. I mean, not even beta. This is just like they're just testing it right now. They haven't got it working yet. So, but when it does happen with the Legend Nano S, I would definitely be moving my ADA from the Daedalus wallet into Legend Nano S. But in the meantime, I'll show you how to install the Daedalus wallet. So the Daedalus wallet, as they say here, right now currently supports Cardano. They want to support other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is what they call a highly secure wallet. I do think that it's pretty good actually overall. It's not as easy to use as something like Exodus, but at the same time, it looks pretty nice. So right now, the Daedalus wallet is available for Windows and Mac. And unfortunately for Linux people, I guess you guys will have to use either one of these other platforms in the meantime or have to hold your ADA in an exchange if you don't plan to use either one of these other platforms. So once you download for either one of these platforms, I'm going to show you for my Mac because I did it for my Mac. Uh, honestly, it's not the safest. This is still a hot wallet because the private keys are still exposed on the computer. Unlike a Legend Nano S, which the private keys are never exposed. But let's go through the installation process and I'm going to go do that with you guys. So the first thing is after you download it for the Mac version, they're pretty nice. They actually delete the installer file for you after you install it. So after you install it and then you start running it, the first thing you get to choose is the language, which I did. And after that, you have to agree to the terms of service. You can't blame them if you lose your keys, your private keys. Basically, that's what they're trying to say. So once you agree to the terms of service, then there's a send logs to a central server. My personal thing is I just don't send logs because unless I have a particular issue, then I will actually want to work with the data list team to have to maybe to send the logs out for a troubleshooting basis. But on a regular basis, I wouldn't want to do that with pretty much any product. So I said don't send. And then this is where the syncing begins. So unlike a light wallet, which doesn't require syncing, like Exodus, for example, with Daedalus, you have to sync the blockchain because this is, to my understanding, it's a full node. Basically, I guess we're just validating transactions. So anyway, the syncing process took about, let's see, almost three hours. So not a short time, but at least it was moving, which wasn't too bad. So after I synced it, I said, um, create a new wallet. And then I ask you to name your wallet. I guess you can name whatever you want. 
there's a slider to activate to create your password, which, which I definitely did. So I just did Buns Wallet and I put in the password for it. So I'll go over one thing with the password in, in a bit, but um, I would definitely recommend putting a password on your Daedalus wallet. So the next thing is the recovery phrase. So they're going to show you your 12 word phrase so that you can recover your wallet. So you have to check off in this box and click continue. So after I check off in the box, they show me my passphrase, which I have blanked out here. One thing I didn't like was that you can't just copy and paste this uh, recovery phrase into another document. Because my idea was not just writing it down, because my experience with the list wallet was I wrote it down, but I wrote it down in the incorrect order and I wasn't able to re uh, recover my list. That was painful. So this is one of those things where I was hoping that I can copy and paste it into another document and just print it out, but that wasn't the case. I had to type out the recovery phrase and then have that printed out. So after I printed out my recovery phrase, what I really do like with Daedalus is that they actually show you those 12 words again from the recovery phrase and actually to tap each word in the correct order to verify your recovery phrase. That is so important. Lisk, you guys didn't do that and you screwed me over and I lost my funds because of that. So I'm glad that with Cardano, you guys have learned from Lisk's mistake anyway and forced your users to verify the whole entire recovery phrase. Other than that, they want to confirm that the wallet and the tokens are not stored on any servers and that if the application is deleted or something wrong with my computer, the only way to recover my funds is through the recovery phrase. So I've got to confirm it's all done. I am shown with my wallet. So I have already at this point moved my funds over from Binance into my wallet here. The transfer process wasn't too long. I think it was only like three minutes. It was really fast, I have to say, for an ex exchange to a wallet that's pretty quick and in here there's not much you can do at this point obviously you can just like, send and you can be able to send out the thing one thing i haven't done is to send it back out because i mean i guess depends on how much you want to test and verify that the wallet is set up properly so now that i received the funds technically if i wanted to i should test by sending out these funds back out to Binance to make sure the send process is working properly and then send it back in. But that would, the total process would cost me three ADA and I don't really want to do that at this point. So, um, and the receive, you can then receive funds, which is what I use to receive funds. And the transaction, they show you how much again you have received. And then the settings part. So, one thing I want to point out is that the password, one thing I should have tested before I send the funds over to this wallet was to make sure that the password was correct, which I didn't test. I should have tested and for well, you guys definitely follow this procedure right here. So click on the change button here and then just type in your password. If you type it in correctly, they'll tell you invalid password. So I tested this after the fact, after I transferred my funds over and then confirmed that my password is correct. But you guys should definitely test your password to make sure it's correct by typing it into here. Make sure that your password is valid and then transfer your funds over. So, but basically after that, that's it. It's not a simple, not a very difficult thing to do to set up the Daedalus wallet. Just take some time. But overall, I mean, I have no problem with it. I'm not sure the people that have syncing issues. I mean, I'm not sure why they experienced that issue, but I'm sure that, you know, Daedalus team can probably help them out. In the meantime, there are a couple of known issues that they have pointed out from Daedalus webpage. So they say that it takes around 40 seconds for the blockchain syncing to start. I didn't really experience that at all. As soon as the, I started the application, it started syncing up. Like I said, it took a while, it took about three hours, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. There's an issue with redemption, but again, I'm not, I didn't buy it from ICO, so I didn't have any problem with the redemption. So overall, the issues are really minor. I didn't really see any major issues. There's an FAQ as well that they have regarding the Daedalus wallet. They did say that, well, if I forgot my password, what should I do? So if you forgot your password, and if you didn't test your password like I've mentioned before, at least you'll still be able to recover your funds as long as you have your recovery phrase. So that's the key part. But anyway, that's my video for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for post notifications. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining. It isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.